Hunter Spoke Dayton's with this green. Well, Dex, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Nope. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm finally about to take the cutlass up to the body shop. <laughs> but first, we gotta obviously take the cover off and jump start it because I'm sure it's gonna be dead. As you guys remember, we had that double protection on there. Let's see if it did anything. It looks like it was. Looks like it was fun. That does not look good. Oh, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of moisture in the interior now. I thought this shit was dry. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Not good. Yeah, it's just a lot of like condensation moisture in this bitch. That's crazy. So I'm guessing all the moisture is either coming in from these cracks in between the window right here because it kind of looks like it's separating a little bit or in between where the vinyl used to tuck in corner right here or through these screw holes which kind of makes sense because <laughs> there's nothing there but the tarp was on and the car cover was on so i don't know how it was still getting moisture unless it was just a bunch of condensation in there going crazy oh yeah look up here straight water up there god okay luckily this is <laughs> thought it was dry I guess that's just condensation for real. Cause nothing in here is wet right now. Let this shit air out a little bit. So as you can see, this is long overdue to go to the body shop. Hopefully they can take care of all the seams and gaps and everything. This shit quits leaking water cause damn near ruining the car. It's not funny, it's really not. Anyway, let's go ahead and jumpstart this thing. So surprisingly it's not as dead as I thought, but it's, the moisture in here is way worse than I thought. Like even, look at the dash. Dash is all fogged up and shit. Shifter got moisture on it. Close, close. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take it to the body shop, fix all these damn cracks, get window trim put on here, take all this trim off, get it welded, get it smoothed out so it looks really clean without any of this damn trim on it. Maybe have them do something in between these windows. This moisture needs to stop ASAP. This shit really gonna f the whole car up. I'm damn they're already gonna have to take it to SR Garage for a steam clean and carpet extraction and everything just to get all the little mold spores and shit that's already in here out. Let's try it one more time, huh? Close. I'm giving it some juice. So close. Almost. Ah, give it a second. Charge him up. Charge him up. That shit hella dead. <laughs> Come on. Come on, old baby. Come on. This shit's definitely taking way longer than normal. I don't know if it has to do with the moisture or what, but. Usually like third crank when I'm trying to jump start it turns on, but not now. So this thing will not start right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a little microfiber, wipe everything down and then try starting it in a little bit. Okay, got all that shit in the interior wiped down. I think that the water is coming in from right here. If you guys can see, there's like a little bit of separation coming from right here. So that's one spot that probably is leaking. 
and then the back window right along where's my finger right along the bottom edge there's a lot there's a lot of moisture right there so somehow it's getting in right there i don't know how but it's getting in there and then all along this window trim it, it had moisture droplets the top window trim down here had moisture droplets there's pretty much moisture all over the interior shit sucks so got it all wiped down hopefully that was all the moisture i wiped it down last time that i took this thing apart and i don't know i guess there was still moisture left inside the car or more moisture got in i don't know but it's definitely worse than last time as you can tell by the clouds it's supposed to rain today so i'm gonna air it out as long as possible until i can take it to the body shop but until then let's pray it doesn't rain <laughs> so i went inside to eat let this thing air out for about an hour and it's already starting to sprinkle so i was gonna keep trying to jump start it and take it for a drive and stuff like that but looks like we're gonna have to unfold the tarps that i just folded up throw them back on so this thing can get some protection because i just got a call from the body shop and they said that the insurance company that they work with just dropped off like five cars so there's no room for the cutlass anymore and they're gonna be about like two three weeks out so that sucks anyway it happens we're probably gonna have to find another body shop to work with because i don't want to wait two three weeks i was trying to drop this shit off today hopefully get it done by the end of the week and then wrap it probably next week and since we're talking about wraps what do you guys think of the old green going on the cutlass huh kind of hard to see plus the wraps a little dirty but you know this is the green to black iridescent that i had wrapped on the drift cat and this is just a little sample that i had left over i don't think it would be too bad with the the red interior it's almost like a gucci theme and then probably have those rose gold spokes hunter spoke Dayton's with this green i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comments i think it would look pretty good because i love this color and i know you guys have commented saying to wrap the drift cat this color again so maybe wrapping the cutlass you know get the best of both worlds because i don't really want to re-wrap the drift cat the same color so wrapping it this green bring it back let me know what you guys think if not the green color then i'm thinking some sort of dark color that would go good with this red interior it's kind of hard to choose uh, exterior color that goes good with red interior because you can't do orange you can't do blues you can't do anything like that so you kind of got to be out of the box the green looks really good but i don't i'm so indecisive on wraps i don't know but let me know in the comments down below but at least we were able to air this thing out a little bit today because it stopped raining even though it's starting to rain again right now we're gonna have to cover this thing back up and then probably let it air out again tomorrow something like that but luckily there's no more moisture in the trunk no more moisture in the cabin because we wiped everything down so hopefully it stays like this i don't want to see hella moisture the next time i open this car so everybody pray everyone hope and pray 